New findings and leak detection on multi-phase pipelines. Andrew Hoffman, Dr. Jun Zhang. Atmos International Limited, Manchester, United Kingdom. Jason Wilkie, Aspen Leaf Energy Limited, Calgary, Canada. With the increasing pressure to reduce greenhouse gas emission and protect the environment, effective leak detection in all pipelines has become more critical in recent years. This applies to multi-phase pipelines too. Little progress has been made in multi-phase pipeline leak detection in the last decades. Some of the main challenges in detecting leaks in multi-phase pipelines include complex and variable hydraulic conditions with flow regime changes when the fluid composition and flow rate vary in a pipeline, high cost and poor performance of flow meter instrumentation, feasibility of retrofitting leak detection hardware or equipment on operational pipelines. Over the past few years, Atmos International has carried out significant research and field tests to develop solutions to address the above challenges. We are pleased to share three application case studies where leak detection has been implemented on multi-phase pipelines. The operation and control of multi-phase pipelines are challenging due to the varying nature of gas, oil, and water mixture. Multi-phase pipelines can be operated in a much wider range of scenarios than single-phase ones based on the following main variables. Gas-liquid ratio, phase change between gas and liquid, flow rate or velocity, operating pressure and temperature, elevation profile, in particular high and low points, riser, vertical pipe, gas composition and liquid properties, number of supply and delivery points, e.g. stop and start of a supply. The above variations determine that a multi-phase pipeline can be running in different flow regimes. An example of five flow regimes in a horizontal pipeline is shown here. These regimes are dispersed bubble or bubble flow, intermittent, elongated bubble, slug and churn flow, stratified smooth flow, stratified wavy flow, annular flow. Depending on the pipeline operating conditions, it is possible for a pipeline to be running under different flow regimes at different time. This makes it more challenging for a pipeline operator to select and maintain a leak detection system so that certain performance specifications are met. Another challenge for multi-phase pipeline leak detection is the cost and performance of instrumentation in particular, flow metering. To achieve a similar level of flow meter accuracy as a gas or liquid pipeline, it is necessary to separate gas, water, and oil at both the inlet and outlet of a multi-phase pipeline. This is not feasible in most cases due to the lack of separators and the cost of including them. Although multi-phase flow meters are commercially available, most pipelines are currently not equipped with them due to various reasons. For example, the best available meters can deliver an accuracy between 2 and 5% only. The price for one multi-phase flow meter is between 100,000 and 500,000 US dollars. The more accurate flow meters include a radioactive source, gamma, that requires careful supervision. Maintenance of multi-phase flow meters can be a cumbersome procedure, particularly if it is performed offshore. To provide effective leak detection on operational multi-phase pipelines, it is essential that not only the instrumentation should be affordable, but it must be feasible to be retrofitted without major disturbance to pipeline operations. Similar to single-phase pipelines, the performance of a leak detection system varies on a multi-phase pipeline depending on various factors. Flow regimes and changes between them, topology of the pipeline, number and type of sensors on the pipeline, sensor digitization and sampling frequency, Accuracy, repeatability, and response time of sensors along the pipeline. Availability and quality of the telecommunication system. Operation and control at each supply and delivery points. Now let's look at three application case studies. Case study one, multi-phase pipelines with separators. Two 30-inch, 21-kilometer long multi-phase pipelines. Transports mostly gas with a small fraction of condensate and MEG, monoethylene glycol. The gas, condensate, and MEG are separated and measured with single-phase flow meters. Atmos Pipe Statistical Pipeline Leak Detection System has been applied to these two pipelines with the following performance under normal operating conditions. On line 1, a 0.75% leak is detected in 32 minutes. The false alarm rate is less than 8 per year. On line 2, a 1% leak is detected in 18 minutes, and the false alarm rate is less than 8 per year. 
The main challenge for maintaining a reliable leak detection system on these two multi-phase pipelines is dealing with the liquid slugs. This figure shows an example of the liquid slugs arriving at the receiving terminal around midnight on September 6, 2021. The flow rate is reduced during pigging operations. The arrival of liquid slugs introduces significant noises in both the flow and pressure measurements. As can be seen in the trend, no leak alarm is generated by the pigging operation and the accumulation of liquid slugs. This figure illustrates how the statistical leak detection system works reliably without false alarms when the pipeline reduces the throughput, goes into shut-in, and starts up. Case Study 2 – Offshore Multi-Phase Pipeline Offshore pipeline 8 inch in diameter and 2.5 km long. Transports mostly oil and water with a small fraction of gas. No existing instrumentation on this pipeline. To enable leak detection, dynamic pressure sensor and Doppler flow meter were installed at both ends of the pipeline. The data were collected with Atmos's proprietary data acquisition units at 60 samples per second. For reliable leak detection and accurate leak location, GPS antenna was installed at both ends of the pipeline. This figure shows the instrumentation system setup for this application. This photo shows the clamp-on flow meter installed at the inlet of the pipeline. And this photo shows the pressure sensor installed downstream of the flow meter. Atmos wave negative pressure leak detection was applied to this pipeline using the flow and pressure data. This figure shows the detection of a 5% leak by Atmos wave. This figure gives an example of a 1% leak being detected. Case Study 3 – Onshore Multi-Phase Pipeline Aspen Leaf Energy Limited operates an onshore, multi-phase pipeline that passes under a river, thereby necessitating an effective and robust leak detection system. This need triggered a four-year-long research project between Aspen Leaf and Atmos International. Leak detection in this pipeline is the most challenging of these three case studies due to the highly variable composition of oil and gas in the pipeline. A 6-inch, 3.7-kilometer pipeline, an elevation change of 70 meters as it goes under the river, transports a mixture of gas and liquid, no existing instrumentation. Atmos Wave is applied to this pipeline with four pressure sensors located at station 1, 2, 3, and 4. This figure shows the pressure sensor locations. This figure shows an example of one of the leaks being detected and located. Note the speed of sound in the pipeline was only 50 meters per second due to the presence of gas bubbles. The above system, with four pressure sensors, was running on the pipeline for over two years, with less than four false leak alarms. It is proven to be reliable with a reasonable leak size. However, Aspen Leaf would like to reduce the minimum detectable leak size. Therefore, further research has been carried out to reduce the leak size without increasing false alarm rate. Three main areas of improvements were addressed to improve the sensitivity of the leak detection system. Field instrumentation, pipeline operations, inline inspection tool. To find out if additional information could be derived to improve the leak detection system, four newly developed Doppler Eclipse units were installed at each station. Flow and speed of sound data are being collected at 60 Hz and further analysis will be carried out in the near future. This photo shows the installation of an Atmos Doppler Eclipse at Station 4. Aspen Leaf has made some changes in their operations, which has resulted in a smoother flow regime and increased consistency of the gas-to-liquid ratio in the pipeline. Consequently, the turbulence level has been reduced in some operating scenarios. This has made it feasible for the negative pressure wave system to detect smaller leaks without increasing the false alarm rate. This figure shows an example of a smaller leak being detected. For multi-phase pipelines, pigging is usually carried out regularly to clean the pipelines of debris and stagnant liquids. To help detect even smaller leaks that the online system cannot detect, an offline leak detection tool was developed, Atmos ASP, Acoustic Sensing Pig. To make it cost-effective and easy to be deployed on-site, the ASP is made smaller than a normal cleaning pig. It can be attached to a cleaning pig before a routine pigging is carried out. This photo shows the ASP attached to a cleaning pig used by Aspen Leaf. This figure illustrates that no leak was detected in the section surveyed by the ASP. Aspen Leaf has been working closely with Atmos to achieve the best possible results without multi-phase instrumentation. This work on a leak detection system for a difficult multi-phase flow pipeline has demonstrated that
the real-time negative pressure wave system can detect leaks of a reasonable size for the river crossing section without false alarms. The offline inspection tool ASP can detect leaks that the online system may miss. Conclusions Leak detection in multi-phase pipelines can be challenging due to the cost of instrumentation and complex pipeline operations. The application case studies demonstrate that a reliable and sensitive leak detection system is achievable if the liquid and gas are separated before flow and pressure are measured, the actual performance is comparable to single-phase pipelines. For the mostly liquid pipeline with pressure sensors and clamp-on Doppler flow meters, it is feasible to detect a 3% leak. With four pressure sensors on the 6-inch pipeline with balanced amount of gas and liquid, a reliable online leak detection system is achievable using the pressure wave system while the smaller leaks would only be detected by the inline inspection tool ASP. It is commercially feasible to implement real-time leak detection systems on multi-phase pipelines using single-phase flow and pressure sensors.